Jonathan, what is our fourth main topic today? This one comes from Pat Guy. He writes, Hey, can't be a crew. Pat from Massachusetts here. I just heard that Gil Keenan will be taking over as director of the Ghostbusters Afterlife sequel. I personally loved Afterlife and am a little sad about Jason Reitman stepping into a producer only role. But I'm relieved someone so heavily involved in the first film will be helming its sequel. Should we be concerned? All right, Pat, thanks a lot for sending that in. And, you know, I often go back to that one CinemaCon that Aaron and I went to uh, two CinemaCons ago. And we went into the Sony presentation at CinemaCon. And it was great because Jason Reitman and his father, this is obviously before Ivan passed away, Jason Reitman and his father, Ivan Reitman, came out on stage to do a presentation about their upcoming film, Ghostbusters Afterlife. This was still months before the movie was coming out. And as they were wrapping up their talk, they were like, and there are a few surprises, as you will now see, as we're about to show you the whole movie. And I, I just <laughs> remember like Aaron and I looking at each other and everybody in that Celine Dion theater at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas looking, it's like, wait, what? And they did this big surprise screening. They showed us the whole movie. And I, I was so pleasantly surprised by it. Again, it wasn't like better than the original Ghostbusters, but I mean, this was a movie that very well could have gone wrong a thousand different ways. And instead, they made a fun, charming, true to the spirit of the original, all that. They just made a delightful movie. And I really quite enjoyed it. I, and I think Aaron enjoyed it a lot more than even I did. But I had a really, really good time with it. Again, not the best film of the year, not a top 10 film of the year, but it was quite good. And for a movie that, again, could have gone wrong so many different ways. Paul Rudd is fantastic in it too, by the way. Really, really pleasantly surprised. So clearly with the success that they had, particularly since the movie still came out when we were deeper still into the pandemic and everything, it had some pretty good success. So a sequel was obvious. They announced a while ago officially that they were doing a sequel, but now we find out that it ain't going to be Jason Reitman in the director's chair. As the person who wrote in just pointed out, Gil Keenan, who, by the way, was one of the screenwriters with Jason Reitman of Ghostbusters Afterlife, is going to be taking up the director's duties. You're asking, should we be concerned? I'm going to tell you this. While it is reassuring that somebody who is one of the writers of the last film is going to be the one directing it, I'm a little iffy. It, it, let's bring up the uh, let's bring up my screen here for a second, Jonathan, if we're able to do that, because when it comes to directing, Gil doesn't have the best track record. Now he did a, he did something that I will confess I've never seen, which was a boy called Christmas. So I, I, this was not a wide release film. Obviously, I'm not familiar with it. I really can't tell you much about it. He directed one episode in 2016 of Scream the TV series, which I never watched. And again, it was just one episode. But then you get down into his three major films. He directed the Poltergeist remake, which I didn't think was great. He also directed City of Ember, which again, not very good. And he did Monster House, the animated film Monster House. You know what? Monster House wasn't bad. I like Monster House. Yeah. Monster House wasn't bad, like not in my top 20 favorite animated films of all time or anything like that, but it wasn't bad. So really, I'm looking at this collection of three films. This one animated thing that he did, gosh, how many, 16 years ago? That wasn't bad. And then two bigger live action films that I did not think were handled all that well with City of Ember and Poltergeist. And then he did one episode of uh, The Scream Show. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. I look at that and I, it's not real encouraging. It's not like we'd look down on his list and saw three Emmy nominations and two Oscar nominations. And no, I mean, it's like, okay, hasn't really done a lot. Now, look, obviously in a perfect world, I wanted Jason Reitman to return to direct again, but I get why he's not for two different reasons. Number one, it is a lot easier to write and produce a movie than it is to direct a movie. You're directing the movie. You are in 20 meetings every day. You're overseeing every single department on the film. You are on set every day. You're in pre-production every day. You're in post-production every day. It is a grueling time commitment of a thing. 
And if you can just write it and then produce it and let somebody else direct it, I get that. The other thing is this, and nobody has said this anywhere, but I got to believe that my fellow good Canadian kid, Jason Reitman, probably feels this way a little bit. Ghostbusters Afterlife was a passion project that he did with his dad. And I, it's hard for me to articulate and to put it into words when Jason and Ivan were on stage together in Las Vegas at CinemaCon. You could just, it, there was something magical about it. Of course, his dad, Ivan Reitman, the director of the original Ghostbusters, now passing the torch to his son. It was clearly a very special thing for Jason to be able to do that with his dad and to pick up that mantle and take up that torch. And since then, his, his dad, the great Ivan Reitman, has passed away. And there might be something about that that says, you know what, this, the next one isn't for me to direct. It's just... I could, I've got to imagine it would be difficult. It would be painful. I mean, directing a movie in and of itself is difficult anyway. So understanding why Jason Reitman wouldn't necessarily want to direct the second one, I get it. Going then to somebody who co-wrote Ghostbusters Afterlife with them, that makes sense. But again, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little trepidatious because I don't think Gil has a great track record. That doesn't mean he doesn't got something brilliant in him for this. And maybe this works out great. And I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that it does. And I'm going to cheer for him. But yeah, I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you I was a little bit worried about it. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? There's going to be a new person in the director's chair for the Ghostbusters Afterlife sequel. Jason Reitman is going to write it with them and he's going to be a producer on it, but he will not be the one in the director's chair. And we've got somebody in there who has not the best track record. But I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? Are you still looking forward to the sequel? Maybe you never liked the first Ghostbusters Afterlife. Whatever you guys thought, jump down into the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. We want to thank the sponsor of today's video, True Classic. The holidays are here and there is plenty of t-shirt cheer thanks to our sponsor, True Classic Tees. Guys, we have the perfect gift for your wish list. True Classic Tees are a gift for you, for her, and a great present for any guy in your life. True Classic is on a mission to maximize men's confidence by making them look good. Get 25% off True Classic with my exclusive link, trueclassic.com slash campia, and the discount doesn't stop there. You'll save even more during their site-wide sale. Guys, like most of you, I have always struggled with finding the right shirts for me. Either they're not all that comfortable or they don't fit me all that right. Well, the best thing is that True Classics team has designed t-shirts to make guys of all sizes feel confident in their clothing. These shirts taper off towards the bottom, but they fit tighter around the chest and shoulders. This is the perfect look that can be achieved by every body type. And they offer other menswear as well, ranging from polos to workout shirts designed to keep your body feeling nice and comfy. So guys, get 25% off at trueclassic.com slash campia. Free shipping included on purchases over $100. That's 25% off at trueclassic.com slash campia. 